He hurled his spear as long shadow flew and it struck Ajax's shield. That awesome seven layered buckler, right on the eighth, the outside layer of bronze that topped it off. Through six hides it tore, but the seventh stopped the relentless brazen point. But great Ajax, next dear to the gods, he hurled and his spear shadow flew, and the shaft hit Hector's round shield. Hit full center, straight through the gleaming hide, the heavy weapon drove, ripping down and into the breastplate, finely worked, tearing the war shirt. Close by Hector's flank it jabbed, but the Trojans swerved aside and dodged black death. Both seized their lances, wrenched them from their shields, and went for each other now like lions rending flesh or a pair of wild boars whose power never flags. Hector stabbed at the buckler, full center too, not smashing through the brazen point, bent back, and Ajax lunged at him, thrusting hard at his shield, and the shaft punched through, rammed him back in his fury, and grazed his neck, and the dark blood gushed forth. But not even then did Hector quit the battle. Backing, helmet flashing, his strong hand hefting a rock from the field, dark, jagged, a ton weight, he hurled it at Ajax, struck the gigantic shield, seven ox hides thick, struck right on the jutting boss, and the bronze clanged, echoing round and round as Ajax, hoisting a far bigger boulder, swung and whirled it, putting his weight behind it. Tremendous force, and the rock crashed home, Hector's shield burst in, hit by a millstone, and Hector's fine knees buckled. Flat on his back he went, his shield crashing down on him swept him off his feet, but Apollo quickly pulled him up, and now they'd have closed with swords hacked each other if heralds of Zeus and men had not come rushing in.